Charlie the Platypus? What's up? Oh, are you here to... Oh, no, 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 I, I'm running a little behind. I'm still in the middle of basic plotting and scheming. Plus, I, I can't give you my evil scheme monologue because I write that last. Sorry, that's just how I roll. Wait, wait, why don't you help me? That way I can finish faster and you can defeat me faster. It's it's win-win. Let me grab my coupons. We'll start by shopping for some supplies. Fair the platypus, thanks for your help. I usually hate shopping, but you know, you make it fun. What, that? Oh, that's my first innator. Good story. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. When I was young, I entered a science fair with my very first innator. I, was, I wasn't very clever with names yet. It was just, you know, innator. Just as I was about to demonstrate my invention to the judges, a kid with a baking soda volcano stole the show. The next year, I tried again with my even bigger innator. And again, my thunder was stolen by a baking soda volcano. I'd had enough of science. I decided to devote my life to poetry instead. The movies are gray. The TV is black. The horses are running. Please bring me some food. Yet, curiously, I still lost to a baking soda volcano. But never again. Behold, the world's largest baking soda volcano. I mean, it, it's got to be the biggest one here, right? It's going to win. I feel confident. You know what? I don't even remember what this does. Oh, that's right. It just shoots a beam into space. No wonder I lost to a baking soda volcano. Oh, you're going to make me your king? Well, okay, if you must. I mean, what? 